So after I did this video, I started to do this intro because I just wanted to mention a couple things that I left out of the video. So before we get into it, this is something I wanted to do. It's starting out with PC. So this is definitely something I'm working on for the PC, 64-bit. However, this can be implemented into other RetroArch, you know, standalone applications. Uh, you can implement it into your mini classics because you'll have RetroArch in there. Uh, you can do it with Android boxes, you know, your NVIDIA Shield or even your Fire Stick TV. You'll be able to take my playlists and my packs and put it onto your builds. This, as I mentioned in the in the video that you're about to watch, is just something that I have very I'm very early in development with this, very early in the project. I'm really liking it because it's giving a lot of options to people and I think options are important and I think that experiencing new old games uh, is a fantastic thing I have found so many and even ROM hacks and English translations and things of that nature I'm just a big fan of all the hard work that goes into those and a lot of the times it pays off I mean you just it's an enjoyable experience right from the start so that's why I'm making this intro before the video starts before you check out this build, be aware, be mindful that I can eventually, you know, or you can, if you know how, you can implement this into your mini consoles or your Android boxes or other, any, basically any RetroArch installation that you may have. So stay tuned for the video, guys. I hope you enjoy. Welcome to Harrison's Hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I just want to show you my build. I'm going to maybe name it Just Play. That's the work in progress name. Basically what this is, is no bells and whistles, no fuss, no muss. The reason why I chose RetroArch for an all-in-one build is obviously there's so many different cores to choose from. Um, I've actually put every single core as an option for everyone. So I went and downloaded every single core. Um, you can see how many options you're going to have. This is a 64-bit build because there's more options available as far as cores um, doing it that way. So I went with a 64-bit build. And I'm doing, I'm currently in the process of doing all of the uh, ROM lists or playlists. So basically all I did with this was here's your games and you can see that there's box art. So It'll be a lot quicker to release this. Um, here is Die Hard. This is the English translated version. And there's a few other games as well like that. But so far, this is very early in development. I just started working on this. There's a lot of systems that I haven't touched on in the past, uh, such as the, the Famicom disc system. So you can see I don't have all the artwork yet, but I, I will get there. And anytime I can do a English translated ROM, I will do my best to make sure I include those. But there is just so many games to choose from. And again, I'm very, very early into this. Here's Game Boy Color. Here's Game Boy. Now, to speed up release, what I may do is just have absolutely no box arts included. I can do that in the background and then release just the artwork pack that would just download right into this and then you guys would be able to add it into this build and you'll have the box arts. Um, but I'm doing as many games as I can so you can see for the Nintendo 64 I've included some of the Japanese games uh, as well as there are some European exclusives in here as well. Not a lot but there's some. I just wanted to give everyone an abundance of games in this build. That was my plan. So the reason why I've kind of avoided this in the past was basically I had so much artwork to to create or to find that I didn't want to add more to my plate than need be. So I ended up just being like, okay, I'll do the standard ROM packs. But this way, you're going to get an abundance of games that you've never experienced. You know, like this is Magical Tetris Challenge in French. Yeah, maybe people don't want it, but you can delete it. It's just, this is an option for people that do want things. Does anyone want the Die Hard 64 prototype, level 1, 2, and 3? Some yes, some no. If you don't, you can delete it. If you do, it's here. So that's kind of where I'm going with this build. Um, 
I, and again, I can't say this enough. It's very, very early. <laughs> um, I'm nowhere near release for this. I do have other projects going on. I've actually got a, a Patreon exclusive coming up very, very soon. But there are a lot of games here. I mean, this is this is uh, Nintendo 64. One that I wanted to show you guys was... Here's a ROM hack. It's a fantastic ROM hack. It's very fun to play. This is Waluigi's Taco Stand. It's a uh, Super Mario 64 ROM hack. I recommend checking this one out when you get this build. Um, there's some prototypes in here and things of that nature. And again, I think it may just be released just like this with no box art on the right side. Um, and you just get the text. And here's Nintendo, and again, there's going to be a lot of Nintendo games, and then we'll do Famicom, uh, Super Nintendo, we'll do Super Famicom, some translated, some not, Virtual Boy. And honestly, if you haven't played Virtual Boy Wario Land, check it out, it's a very fun game. Here is 32X. I went with, you know, like X-Men was a prototype, but I was like, no, I got to include it, and so on and so forth. We got Star Wars Arcade, uh, here's a Star Trek game. I'm not too familiar with 32X. I have played a few of the games, uh, primarily Doom. Uh, but here's Dark Side and stuff like that. So anything that I can include, when we get to the Master System, which is one I'm working on currently, I've got majority of the artwork for this. There are a lot of like Korean unreleased games. And then there's European games, Japanese games, and we have the USA, world releases, all that good stuff. So like Alibaba and the 40 Thieves, Korea unreleased. Well, here it is for you to enjoy. You can check it out. If you know you like playing the the light phaser version of games, here's one with Assault City, but you also have the joypad option for that. And this is all about options. This is all about an abundance of games for you to try out that you've never experienced, and or you can just be a ROM hoarder um, if you so choose. Uh, but this is just kind of like, stuff that I've never experienced. I love experiencing new games, new old games, I guess. And, you know, like Dr. Hello, it just looks like a Dr. Mario ripoff, but might be fun. And the list goes on. I mean, if you look at all these Master System Mark III games, I'm scrolling pretty fast. Some of them make me laugh. There's like Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, but you only have two buttons. Uh, there's also a Street Fighter 2. From Brazil but like Strider, Strider 2, fantastic games and just a bunch of Japanese games that I've never experienced. And lastly I've got Sega Genesis. I'm not completed obviously you can see here but a lot of the stuff so you can see TN so basically that's translated English and I'm going to try and do that for as many games as possible, is get all of the English translated ROMs. But again, there's going to be from tons of different countries. There's going to be prototypes, unreleased games, things of that nature. But I just wanted to show you guys what I was working on. The work in progress name is just called Just Play, because basically that's what I want this to be, Just Play. What the nice thing is, is normally RetroArch automatically configures your controls. Um, if you have, you know, if you don't have like a weird third-party controller, um, but if you do, you can always reconfigure your controls. The other thing is, is this will come with the bezel project pre-installed. So if we were to launch up uh, a game, let's run it. You can see that we have the bezel project pre-installed. So this is the first look at just play. And as I mentioned, that may not be the release name, but it's definitely the name I'm working with right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I really do love feedback, and I, I just want to mention a few things. I don't think this build is going to get into CD-based games, uh, because I also don't want this to be an extremely large build. So I'm probably going to cut it off with just cartridge games. That's probably where I'm going to stand with it. No Sega CD, no PlayStation, obviously no PlayStation 2 or GameCube. Uh, things of that nature. I'm going to stick with cart-based games. I'm going to look into doing Atari 2600 and stuff. Like I said, this opens so many options because I don't have to worry about all the all the artwork. It's just basically just click and play. And that's kind of what I was going for with this build. 
But please, I really want some feedback. If you guys could post down in the comments what you think, what your opinions are, what should I add, what should I take away maybe, um, and, and just any ideas that pop in your head. I can't promise to implement everything, but I can definitely take a look and use that feedback for you know to make it constructive. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, please consider being a Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. It really helps support my channel and helps my channel grow. Most importantly, though, have a good day.